Hey there, it's Diane Banks, radio personality and voiceover actress in Chicago. On Twitter every day at Diane underscore Banks. Let's follow each other. Uh, mentioning today, my most watched YouTube video is the Disney Easter Eggs video. So thanks, you guys. I'm giving you a big props there. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm on voice123.com slash Diane Banks. Here's my demo. If you want to take voice classes on Skype or hire me, you can contact me there. And here on YouTube, of course, new videos for you all the time. Over a hundred for you now. Most are Disney related since you like those. So please continue to watch them and share them and subscribe if you haven't. 970 subscribers, about 552,000 views uh, and growing right now. So thanks again. Today talking about the new Beauty and the Beast uh, that is coming out in 2017. Yay, there's a release date finally. This, by the way, from Oh My Disney. So it's March 17th, 2017. I like that with all the sevens and seventeens. Um, so we've got the release date. You may know that Emma Watson is going to be Belle because that was announced previously. There she is. Um, but we have the rest of the cast here. So before we do our own lookalikes, I thought we'd look at the cast that they have in so uh, uh, the ensemble here, in case you don't know. Dan Stevens is going to play the Beast Prince. Some of these guys, I'm like, who are they? I know they're British actors, but I don't really know much about them. Maybe you can tell me some of the things they've been in. Then the next guy, let's see, it's Luke Evans. Again, another guy I'm not too sure about who's playing Gaston. Uh, and we know, let's see who else, Emma Thompson. We know Emma, of course. She's going to be Mrs. Potts. That's cute. And then Kevin Klein is the latest casting. Uh, he's going to play Belle's father, Maurice. So that's who they have cast, in case you weren't aware. But let's do our own casting now, you and I. Um, I'm going to show you my picks, and then you tell me who you would cast, whether it's another actor or actress in their place that you think would be really good, or somebody who just looks like the character, or both, or neither if you like their picks. This one I thought they did a really good job, so I didn't pick anybody else, because I think she's perfect for the part. Look at she even looks like her with a little do and the lips and the whole whole nine yards i think uh emma will do a nice job but tell me your picks like i said okay this guy i guess is dan stevens i made a selection that is okay now he would be too old to play the guy today to play the beast but uh back in the day i think <laughs> richard marks this is from the 80s would have been perfect look at that now again my my picks are based on looks uh lookalikes more than more than acting ability, but I thought he would be perfect. All right, so let's go on to Gaston. And this is Luke Evans, whoever that is. Um, these guys, I think they did a good job, though, in acting and lookalikes. My pick would be, let's see, we're <laughs> showing you furniture. Joe Millionaire. Do you guys remember him? I don't know if you, some of you are too, maybe too young. This was like 15 years ago. He was on TV uh, as Joe Millionaire, but I think they're perfect. I wonder if they didn't look at photos of him to to do the uh, artwork. But today he would not be able to play the character because he's too old. Wah, wah. He would be maybe Gaston's grandfather? What do you think? All right, so let's move on to Mrs. Potts. I think they did a nice job with Emma Thompson on this one, but I, of course I made a pick anyway because I think that Melissa McCarthy would be perfect, right? See, she agrees. She made her photo bigger. But here, let me show you the um, thing you kind of saw before. Look at it, right? The lips, the roundness to the face. Okay, the eye color is different, but again, we're going by lookalikes. But I think acting-wise, she'd be pretty good, too. Although, um, probably Emma is more in the age range, I guess, they were looking for. All right, let's see who else we have here. And then for Maurice, Belle's father, Kevin Klein. Uh, I selected the Keebler Elf. <laughs> okay, now granted, uh, he's not a human, but look at how, look at, wouldn't he be perfect if he gained a few pounds? The coloring on their outfits, the hats, the whole nine yards, the hair. He needs to grow some facial hair here, a little mustache, but I think that that's a perfect fit. <laughs> But like I said, I want to know your picks. Oh, and this one, too, they told us about, just a heads up, that Alan Menken, uh, Oscar winner, of course, will score the film. And who would play his part? The Keebler Elf. I think it'd be... Per oh, yeah, I know. He's not an actor. 
Anyway, like I said, definitely let me know your picks. Who would you cast in these roles for the wonderful live-action Beauty and the Beast coming up March 17th in 2017? Uh, both lookalikes and the perfect actor for the part. Curious to know what you think. It's Diane Banks on Twitter at Diane underscore Banks, voice123.com slash Diane Banks, and YouTube. Yes, new videos all the time. Please share, continue to watch, and subscribe, and tell your friends to subscribe too. Thanks. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.